Hello. Um, so I know it's been a minute. Um, I know I've posted a few shorts here and there on, uh, here. Um, the last thing, cause I looked back to see what all I needed to do, like updates on, um, the last thing I remember posting was right before the uh, Indiana trip, um, which I don't have a lot as far as like pictures or videos, but I do have a touch um, that I can put, well, that I did already put together. Um, I did post it on my TikTok account. Um, I am going to get it saved into my camera roll so I can post it on here as well. Um, but this shirt is actually from there. Um, the one picture in the video, well, the short that I posted earlier today uh, with Cameron and I, um, one of those pictures was actually from Holiday World, which was in Indiana. Um, which, and that's something I know I need to update on as well, was the Indiana trip alone. Um, I don't fully remember what all I went into detail with, um, as far as that before actually going. Um, but there's a lot that I want to talk about. Um... First things first, um, as some of you know, I lost my dog last week. Um, that's another reason I've struggled to make content and put it out. Um, it's been a rough, rough week and a half. Um... With that being said, I also started my job back this week. Um, so it's been, there's just been a lot of things going on. Um, so yeah, we took my dog to the vet last Tuesday. And we ended up having to put him down. Um, I know I've said previously that I wanted to be there because they know, you know, as they're going, that you're there and they remember that. Um, but that was a really difficult process to go through. Um, I figured it would be, but I didn't realize how much that process, like watching it happen and stuff was going to stick with me. Um, so Tuesday night after it happened, I stayed in the room after he was gone for a good 20, 20 minutes, maybe more. Um, but then I just couldn't, couldn't take it anymore, so I, I ended up leaving, um, and sat in the car with my mom for a minute waiting on the other two, um, texted Cameron that I was on my way home, um, and told him that he was going to have to come get me because there was no way in hell I was going to be able to drive. Um, so then when I got home, I called him. And he said, okay, I'm on my way. Um, so he did come and get me. He actually, um, when I got in the car, he had handed me another hoodie of his.
um, and was like, here you go. And then he said, I love you. And I was like, I love you too. Cause I had actually, when, when I had got back and I was waiting for him to come get me, um, I had put his hoodie on, um, cause I was crying so bad that I just kind of wanted to cover myself. Um, so I put the bigger hoodie on and had my hood up and Um, but yeah, with that being said, we started, we were almost off my street and he goes, do you want to go for a drive? I said, sure. He goes, we don't have to, we can go home if you want to go home. I was like, honestly, I think I would rather just go home. Um, so we drove back to his house and got upstairs and he started cuddling with me and he ended up falling asleep I on the other hand could not I, I tried I was tired enough um earlier that morning I had went to the hospital um had like a two hour nap because I didn't sleep Monday night having a feeling that we were going to put him down and sure enough, but, um, I, I had tried and tried and tried and I couldn't do it. Um, I did when I, I did a few times feel like I heard him speak to me. Um, cause the few times that I had tried I kept hearing a, in like a deeper male voice, Kiana, it's okay, it's okay, Kiana, like, I kept hearing it, and it's a voice I did, I, I didn't recognize, um, and then later in the week, I did hear, um, I'm not in pain anymore, so, I think it, I think it's pretty clear, but, uh, then eventually I did end up passing out. Um, I don't know, 11.30. Um, but I was back up at like 1. Um, had a breakdown. He was still asleep. Um, I was able to pass back out at around... Two, I think which I believe he ended up I don't know if it was Wednesday or not Wednesday uh, Tuesday night or Thursday night no that might have been Thursday um, so I did pass back out at around 2.30 he brought me back home and in uh, Wednesday morning and I came inside and the food container and the dog bowls were gone come to find out they're sitting in the garage they're they're not like it wasn't like they were thrown away um, but I wasn't expecting it so soon but I understand why uh, they had removed them. Um, so, Wednesday was pretty tough. I just kind of laid in bed for a few hours and cleaned up a, a little. Um, then he said that he wasn't having a good, like one of the he wasn't in like one of the best moods um, and he didn't want to like add on to what was already wrong so he asked if I could stay home and I told him that was fine um, but because his mom was home I texted her and was like hey can I come grab something uh, 
She told me, yeah. So I went and grabbed my Xbox to try and keep myself busy here. Cause he told me that real early in the day. Typically it's, it's not till a little later, but there are occasions he'll text me before noon asking that. And I'm like, yeah, it's fine. Um, so I went and grabbed my Xbox and then I played quite a bit of games with my cousin and was able to clear my head a little bit and not forget but like I was too busy having a conversation and playing and having a little bit of fun that I didn't think about it much until later and um Then Thursday came, I was still depressed. I kind of laid in bed. I did force myself to eat so I could get my medicine taken. Um, and then Thursday, um, I got there, he got out of the shower and we were cuddling for a minute upstairs and we were just kind of laying there and I had talked to him what I found from Wednesday and told him about all that stuff because I didn't really get the chance to talk to him about it. So and then we talked about his work and this and that. And um, then we had, shortly after we'd both fallen asleep, um, but I woke back up. I haven't gotten much of any sleep in two weeks almost. Um, because of the whole situation but uh so I had woken up it took me a few hours to fall back asleep but I did end up passing out at around two um I did have a little bit of a nightmare I wasn't like awake awake but I was like sort of awake because like you know how when you get nightmares your body will like fidget or move or like spasm um I was doing that a little bit because of the situation and uh I remember him because I remember him cuddling me shortly after it started like real quick after it started so I don't know if he like knew or what but um and he was like rubbing on my shoulder and he rubbed my head and then he was rubbing my back um and then I I did forget a little bit over the weekend we had some fun was messing around playing games, went for a drive, um, just doing all this random stupid shit, and, but when he went to bring me home Monday night, as I was showing him a song on the way home, it, it hit me, I'm not coming home to my dog, um, And it's hard because since March, after the Kentucky trip, that's when him and I started staying, well, for like two or three weeks, it was back and forth. But um, ever since, it's been, oh, it's been his house. And so I would come home and he would be excited to see me. I would share some food with him if I got some snack on. So it hit me that he wasn't 
he's he wasn't here to greet me uh coming home after being at Cameron's I had actually messed with my wallpaper on my phone a little bit. So my lock screen is two of the pictures from the Indiana trip. But then when you like unlock it right there on the main screen in the background is a picture of him licking my face in the vet's office um and then i have the like widget smith app i have um two pictures of him alone um and then on the other side because i have like four apps the widget smith widget smith four apps so it like is back and forth um and then on the other one i have a tattoo that I'm getting that my mom had showed me and it's um you were my favorite hello and my hardest goodbye and right underneath of that um is a little paw print with angel wings on the side and a little halo um, so that's scheduled for the 17th of December. And that's going on my foot. Um, and I actually scheduled that last Wednesday when I had stayed home. Um, but then Tuesday of this week. Um, I went back into the tattoo shop and tried to figure out who could do portraits. Um, was able to figure it out, talk to him about it. So he's going to do a portrait of Cleveland on my other shoulder. A pretty decent size. And underneath, we're going to do his name in bold letters in a blue color because that was the leash and collar set that I had bought him. Which, the leash and choker chain are sitting up with my hats. Um, and then, like, horse things for when I were to own my own but um his balls on my desk but his actual collar with his tags hangs in my car so but yeah so we're getting that done December 9th um and then the his paw print, which I have two of my own, but I'm hoping I'll get a decent one back from the vet's office when we go to pick him up. Or his ashes. So when we get that back, I'm going to see if I can't find somebody to do it the day that I get it back, depending on what I have and how much it's going to cost me. But I'm doing his paw print right here on my chest. Kind of over my heart. Um, with his... Um, birth date and death date. So that'll be the first one, and then it'll be the portrait, and then it'll be my foot one. So I'll have three for him. Um, so 
it's been weird. It's been rough. It's been a struggle. Um, I came home tonight. Coming back from Cameron's and... Walked in my room and I swear on everything that I just smelled him. Like, I don't have my cuddle buddy anymore. <laughs> so... There's that update, I guess. But, um, on the brighter side of things, I did get my job back. I am making a touch more. Um, started this week. Um, the actual shift itself sucks ass. Um, but hopefully in a few months I'll be able to get that switched around. But, uh, as far as the Indiana trip, we, we probably left 8, 8.30, um, on Friday, um, and it was a little over five hours of a drive. We realized after we left, we were going to be in a different time zone. Um, and it was an hour difference, which I low-key think is still messing with me. Um, but... So originally we thought we were going to be there at two. We ended up getting there at one. Um, because of the time, time switch. Um, but we got there, um, we got to the hotel, but we couldn't check in till three. So we had like two hours to kill. Um, so we went right across the street, quite literally, um, to this little diner type thing. And, uh. We ate, still had a little bit of time to kill, so we drove a half hour to the nearest Walmart um, so we could get the last few things um, for the trip. I'm trying to think what it was that we had picked up. I know Cameron was supposed to get swimming trunks, but we couldn't find any. But there was something else that he wanted to grab. Um, I wanted to get drinks for the hotel room. So, um, it was funny though, because in Indiana, I did not, I could not go long without hurting myself uh in the walmart trip mind you within the hour of being there um while we were at walmart i went to grab like a hair that was hanging off his hat and ear from behind him and i stubbed my toe into his foot um i i did say ow because i felt it but like i didn't realize how bad like my toenail broke um so we ended up getting like gauze to wrap it um then we got back to the hotel got checked in somewhat settled um put things down plug the fan in turn it on mess with the ac um and then him and i went after Dairy Queen for some ice cream and then shortly after that uh, he had passed out but I had passed out with him and um, I had woke up a few hours later and was just kind of chilling talked to my uh, sister for a little bit um, and then we fell back asleep. And then, of course, we were up 
decently early uh, Saturday for Holiday World, which was the amusement park and the water park. Um, very fun, very tiring though. Uh, that whole process was a pain in the ass, low key. Um, afterwards, we went, we drove like another 25 minutes to go get food. Um, but Wendy's ended up messing up our entire order somehow. I don't know what the fuck happened, but, um, we got back to the hotel and hung out for a little bit, ate our food. Um, then we were taking showers, just kind of, we, cause we were, we were at the water park and amusement park, um, from basically the time they opened, which would have been 10 o'clock, um, to around 4, 4.30, I think. Um, so we were just kind of getting things put together that we didn't want to really mess with a lot in the morning, but we did kind of wait a little bit from after the showers. Um, he had passed out. I couldn't sleep yet. Um, and then my sister fell asleep. So I went out of the room, out to the car to call and talk with my mom for a little bit about the water park and the amusement park. Um, and then I went back inside Tried to lay down. After about a half hour to an hour, I think I did end up passing out. Um, and then we were up at like 7.30 on Sunday. 7.30 to 8 o'clock. Maybe a touch before 7.30. Um, but we had um, put the last little bit together. Was gathering things and moving things around. And... Um, I want to say we had left by yeah I think we left a, t a touch before 10 o'clock because we were back home by 3 and that's with the hour back forward um, but Saturday I did end up hurting myself a few different times I got a random mark on my pinky that was burning. Uh, not entirely sure where it came from. Uh, and then right before we were getting ready to leave because we stopped at the gas station, uh, not even two minutes up the road uh, to make sure everything was fine and all that stuff before we actually left. Um, made sure the gas was good. Um, and I managed to hit my hand off of the door while I was inside getting drinks. Um, and then we started the five hour drive back home. Um, I did go back to his house like I figured I would and kind of knew I would because I, I remember verifying that with him. Um, and we just kind of hung out, played some games and then... I came back later that night. I didn't, I probably didn't unpack for another two or three days though, just because I simply just didn't feel like doing it. And I, it was unreal that we were back home. Um, but there's that. Um, like I said, I'll post the video from the very few things that I did get. Um, the one picture you can see there's a heart, a heart, uh, two smiley faces. And then unfortunately my sister and I didn't get a picture of it, but on hers and my other hand, we had the sun and moon. Um, but I, I drew a heart cause I was bored Friday and then, 
uh, my sister drew a smiley face and then I drew a heart on Cameron's hand and then I had an idea. So then I drew a smiley face on Cameron's hand also. Um, and the way I put it on my Snapchat story, I had said something about um, the hearts are for me and Cameron for lovers. And the smiley faces were for him and uh, my sister as besties because <laughs> that's something that they've done since the Kentucky trip and I love them for it because it's they they get along well and I I absolutely love it I could not ask for anything better <laughs> but um another thing is I did do my smiley I got this done Tuesday it low-key is so sore, but I believe it's mainly because me smoking or vaping, um, but I vaped shortly after having it done and it was fine, so three, four days later, honestly, I think it's just something I'm doing wrong. I don't know. It, it's a little sore. But it, it, it hasn't been like this for long, so I'm just going to let it be and hope it's fine. Because uh, I really love it. I've noticed that even, like, when it, like, I tend to smile more. Even though it's hard, I do feel like it fits me nicely. Um, and I've wanted to get it done for a good week and a half now. And I finally got the nerve to do it. I will say it did not hurt as bad as I thought it was going to. Um, I personally thought it was like a one and a half out of 10 as far as pain. Um, it seemed to slide right through kind of like what my tongue did when we pierced my tongue years back. Um, but another thing um, that I wanted to talk about um, was... I'm not going to go into detail detail as far as this. Um, I will say, though, that my boyfriend and I, Wednesday night, um, was that one? That was Wednesday. Uh, we ended up having a really tough conversation. Um, I was wanting to talk to him about a few things, but I was trying to wait for a weekend and prepare myself more because I don't do confrontation. I don't like talking about things um, in fear of it going the direction I don't want it to go. So I thought if I brought some of this stuff up, he was going to be like, get the fuck out of my house. Like, we're done. Um this and that come to find out I wasn't doing or saying anything wrong it's just he hasn't felt the greatest in the last couple of weeks I don't blame him um we did talk it out everything is fine and I have more than plenty of fucking relief um we sat there Wednesday night for two hours talking. Um, and part of it was what I wanted to say and part of it was what was wrong with him and why some of the things I was asking was kind of... But uh, I'm not going to lie, <laughs> waking up Thursday morning, I was really, really fucking scared because of what I'm used to um, and what I had gone through the last year and a half um, as far as 2020 and then the beginning or the first half of 2021. Um, and I did feel sick to my stomach at first. Um, and then I had heard from him and my message didn't go through as green. So that made me feel a little bit better. And then as we had talked 
as as, um, as we had texted a little bit throughout the day yesterday, I did feel a little better about the entire situation. Um, and then uh, going over there last night, we had talked a little bit more, uh, especially because he had brought up some of the, th not me and him personally, but like what was going on with him. Uh, he had brought up to his mom and we had all kind of sat and had a conversation and um, then him and I were fine all night and come to find out from his mom because I guess he had told her a little bit from Wednesday night. Uh, he said it was a good talk from Wednesday so, a lot of relief, um, because I, I, I was afraid, um, uh, fuck. But, I, like, I, I had told him, I was like, clearly, it was needed, though, because I don't think either of us really intended to sit there and talk for two and a half hours, but clearly it was needed, because... I personally feel better about the entire situation. Do I feel like shit for part of it? Yeah. But I'm trying not to fully feel like shit because he could have communicated a little better too, if that makes sense. Like we both have been holding back for two weeks, at least three um, at least two weeks, maybe three, uh, for a little bit of stuff that we wanted to just kind of get off our chest and talk about. We just didn't, um, but all, all seems good. I just need to quit the overthinking because that, that's what I'm afraid is gonna, what is gonna do it. But, um, I think really that that is all I have at the moment as far as an update. Um, I do have things to do tomorrow. Unfortunately, I have a lot to get done before I leave for the weekend. And then, of course, I'm going to be staying with him. Um... I will, shortly after I get this uploaded, I will upload the Indiana trip pictures from what I did get, um, and we'll, uh, go from there. I'll try and see what I can't do as far as getting more things made and uploaded. Um, other than just things I film off Snapchat and TikTok. Um, I just need to find the time because I'm stressed about the job, the money, the bills. There's just a lot going on. Um, but I didn't want to leave some of you in the dust or dark. Um, for those of you that actually sit and watch these ones. Um, but yeah, there's my little update for the moment. Um... I will try and get something figured out as far as a lot of different things and uh, kind of go from there. But I will try and keep you guys updated. Thank you and have a great night. Bye.